car, might as well do race car things. It looks like it's actually working. All the hot air that's going through the radiator is going straight into the engine bay. When you're out making a lot of laps, autocrossing, time attacking, your underhood temps can get a little up there. I've got a whole bunch of these little aluminum pieces and these are what's gonna take this build to the next level. So not just these in particular, but what these are gonna allow us to do. So I just machined these from 6061 aluminum. I put some giant holes in the center of them to take some weight out of them. These parts were bolted up to our billet pieces we made in the last video and let us bring that ducting right where we need it to be. I have a little over half of the pieces mounted up. Half because um, I miscounted how much hardware I needed. Got the rest of the hardware I needed, so now it's time to bust out the CAD. And the first thing we're going to make is the side piece. Once I made sure it fit how I liked, including under the hood, I took a few measurements off of it. I busted out the other version of CAD and drew this thing up. Once I had the piece fully drawn up, I brought it over into the assembly I have for the portions of the core support. I started to make sure that all the bolt holes and stuff would line up. Once I was happy with it in CAD, I took and I used the laser to cut it out of cardboard. And with a quick test fit, everything looked good. So we hopped back into SolidWorks. And this is where things got a little in depth. The main thing I had to work around was the front cross member of my chassis. When building this in the computer, I'm doing it just like you would with cardboard. Taking a few measurements, drawing up a piece, fitting into the assembly, and then moving on to the next piece. My vision is to have two holes in the hood, not one big rectangular hole. With a little bit of playing around, I decided I'm going to run the intake right over top of the ducting and make the ducting kind of form around it, and then that will form up my two holes to exit to the hood. We'll dig deeper into the intake in the next video. Once everything was designed, I headed over to Andy's to have these pieces water jetted. The water jet is a pretty sweet tool. Just like the laser, it can move around and cut out pretty accurate 2D shapes. A water jet takes really high pressure water and mixes in a little aggregate called garnet to cut through the metal. You can kind of think of it like a really powerful, precise sandblaster that uses water instead of air. One of the small issues water jets have is sometimes parts can move on you. Oh, no. That's not good. No. That's good. I see a handful of them that, that look good. good. Yeah, that one's good. Maybe we're okay. Might have just... Oh, you know what happened? Zero's off, zero's off a little bit. It so had to have been, so they just think you just fell. No way. Why is there, there shouldn't be a, like a half inch on that. Yeah, there should be a quarter inch gap here. Did I not zero one of them? The sheet had to have shifted somehow. Maybe when it lifted and we put it back down. Oh. That's. Yep. That's what done us. <laughs> the jigsaw puzzle is laid out. And I've never tigged aluminum before. I did some practice. That's not too bad for first try. So I guess let's just put this thing together. To assemble this, my buddy JJ came over and he held the pieces in place while I tacked them. And the cameraman did a great job of placing the camera. Once it was all tacked, pulled it apart and just went to town. I've got everything welded up on the shroud, and some of these welds are really nice. And some of them are really not. Good thing I'm not afraid of the grinder. I got some of the areas on the shroud cleaned up with the grinder and threw it back in. Initially, I didn't like it. But the more I looked at it, it grew on me, and I've kind of fallen in love with it now. With the lower part of the shroud done, now it's time to make the mating half that's going to mount to the hood. I made this weird polygon shape that I think might look pretty good, and that's what we're gonna go with. I placed them on the hood so they lined up with the ducting, traced them out, and then went to town with the grinder. While I'm cutting, I'm going an eighth inch on the outside of the line so that the hole in the hood is a little bit bigger than the hole on the inside of the flange. It's gonna be a race car, might as well do race car things. 
With the holes cut, I clamped down the flanges and drilled all the holes for the hardware. With the hood back on the truck and both flanges bolted up, I busted out my old band folders, which work awesome for making templates. There were no fancy tools involved with the top half of the ducting. Just cardboard, scissors, a sharpie, and a jigsaw. Andy and I tag teamed the upper shrouds. He was welding while I was grinding and we got these things looking pretty good. I pulled the radiator back out so we can do some redneck flow testing. I can't think of a better time to give a shout out to Alloy Works. They provided this awesome four row all aluminum radiator for Matilda. With this monster and the new ducting, we should have no problems with heat on the track anymore. They have a large selection of drop-in radiators like this one for a C6 Corvette that we're putting in a C10 truck because Corvette parts make you faster, obviously. So go check out alloyworksplus.com. If you use code DRIVE at checkout, we can make that price 8% better. The redneck wind tunnel is complete and I have some string on the duct. Let's see what happens here. Turn that guy up to full blast. The air is coming out the, the duct. No surprise there. Let's take and put some air over the hood and let's see what happens. So I played with the wind tunnel a bit more and I'm pretty sure that this is gonna work. So the airflow over the hood right here might be inducing a small Venturi effect. We'll just have to wait until Wisconsin decides if it's gonna be spring or winter and then we can take her for a drive and see if it scales. Let me know down in the comments what you think about the hood ducks here. Smash that like and subscribe and we'll catch y'all in the next.